In this video, we are going to look at my five top tips for practicing painting in oils and how you can use them to improve your work. And make sure you stick around till the end because I'll also share with you my three tips to painting accurately even if you're a beginner. Hey everyone, my name is Shuchi and I specialize in painting still life and portraits from either photographs or directly from life. If you're a beginner or someone who's painting for some time now and just looking for some tips on improving your artwork, then this channel is definitely for you. So make sure you click that subscribe button to see all my future art videos. Before I walk you through my 5 tips for practicing in oil, let's talk a bit about the things you need before you start to paint. The first thing I think about is a setup, which is like something I want to paint. In this case, it could be either a still life or it can be a portrait. So for a still life, I look around my house and pick up a fruit, a vegetable or any object that I find interesting and I place it under a good lighting condition. So for a portrait, I either work from a photograph or sometimes I place a mirror next to my easel just to paint myself. Either ways, I make sure that the object I paint is well lit so that I can clearly distinguish between the shadow areas and the light areas. Next, I think about the tools that I'm going to use, such as my brushes, my paints, the canvas that I'm going to paint on, any solvents or any medium that I'm going to use in this painting process. I use uh, rosemary and co brushes which are of very good quality and they also clean off very easily so most of my paintings are made using those brushes. For all the other tools that I use please make sure to check the details in the description box below. Last but not the least you'll need a timer and you can set it up to 15 minutes or 25 minutes depending on how long you want your session to be. So now here are my five tips for practicing painting in oils. First one is think about basic shapes. You have to paint basic shapes. This includes thinking about shadow, thinking about light, mid-tone area, highlight and the background. Initially, I just ignored the variation in values and temperature. And one trick to help me do that is I paint from a distance. So I ignore all the minute details that are visible to me, like if there are some value variations on the fruit, it's not visible to me at that distance. What you can also do at this step is to just use two colors, such as uh, you can use umber and you can use white, and then you can create some value variations, say like five value variations, and just paint those basic shapes that you see in your setup using just those values. I move my chair at different angles of the setup so that I can paint the same still life from different viewpoints. Tip number two is to paint multiple 15-25 minute sketches from different angles of the setup. Another thing that you can do is to just move your still life if that's possible for you and just paint it um, in a 15-25 to 25 minute sketch. Tip number three is to paint under different light conditions such as a warm light or a cool light. This also helps you practice creating colors in different temperatures. So this person helps me in looking at the same red differently when the light condition changes. Tip number four is to practice painting with bigger, broader brush strokes and keeping the details to a minimum. So take out all your big brushes Keep your minute detail brushes away for some time and just practice with these big, big broad strokes. And my last tip, which is tip number five, is to practice edge work. So before you even start and put anything on your canvas, look at your setup and see the sharpest and the softest edge that you see in your setup and then put them first or like you can write it on a piece of paper and think about it like oh this is my softest and this is the hardest edge and then draw every other edge keeping that in mind and here are some bonus tips tip number one is to draw the setup a bit before you begin painting tip number two is to club together value variations 
and my tip number three is to go from thin to thick while painting and if you would like to take this painting home i have included a link to my website in the description box below if you found this video helpful please make sure to like subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my future updates and until next time happy painting